Yeah, that's that's lightning throwing fellow. Hmm. Did you just have to censor yourself? I called him an F word. <laughs> I would say this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. Let's, pl let's play Sekiro. Okay. We've made it to the Fountainhead Palace. We have. Uh, it's this this whole situation going on here. It's real pretty. It's real pretty. Uh, there's some really good stuff in this area. It's gonna get weird too. I like I like weird. <laughs> uh, we did uh, murder rate the. Uh, Oh, Whoop. yeah. It's fine. <laughs> well, Just your angles, angles are fine. <laughs> angles are fine. Murderated the uh, true monk last time. Yeah. Let's let's take a let's take a quick uh dip, so to speak. Into the Fountainhead Palace. Let's see, maybe we uh, balloon or so. Actually, well, this this is the last kind of I'll I'll, I'll go hide behind this tree for a second. Okay. Uh as as one of the last exploration areas in the game. Where would you like to go? I will go that general direction as efficiently as possible. Uh, in the building. Okay, I'll Actually, go through the building. Yeah. And then the next thing is, if you can dive anywhere, I would like you to dive. Oh, this is the uh, flute dude. So yeah, people that made Bloodborne, you know. Yeah. Uh, does it these guys have get an Eldritch? interesting. Does it get Eldrix, David? <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's see what this does. This effect. Enfeebled. I become an old man. And then he eats you? Uh, I become an old man. I have no access to resurrection, and my health has been reduced 10% or so. Oh, wow. That's just straight up dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's like anti-dragon's blood. Wow. Fun. Back to the Vermilion Bridge. Yeah, fun times. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the flute players that can enfeeble you uh, are fairly easy to kill. Yeah, they really seem... Really more of a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a thing you just have to prioritize. Well, like, the foot player is, is what I killed via Parsec, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, there was the one that was in Mibu Village, but now they're they're basically just normal enemies. Yep. Uh, sort of the fountainhead citizens, I suppose. Right, these are the dudes that have been drinking all of the everything. <laughs> they turn into that. They turn into that. That whole that whole situation going on down there. Yeah, it's not quite as bad as the hair creatures from Dark Souls Three, but. Uh... Gonna kind of sneak out here and take another Ooh. gander around. Can you go in the water? Like, I can go in the water. Get underwater? Oh yeah, over there you can. I will show you what happens. Yep, I'm assuming death. Buzzed. <laughs> Oh, is that Genichiro? It's not Genichiro, but... Oh, it's Tomoe. It is, it is, no, it is some lightning, some lightning shenanigans going on here. Yeah, to stop you from just being in the water. So this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. There's a uh, Sniper Joe on the end. I just keep, that, that's right, I'm just gonna, I'll just get rid of all the rod at once at the end. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kudos to From Software. Because of all the ways to keep you from going underwater, there, that is not one I considered. Uh, what do, what did you think was going to happen? Big underwater sea creature to headless. There's still time. Is there anything down the waterfall? So if you fall down the waterfall, you die. But we've actually been to the bottom of the waterfall because that's where the guardian ape is. Oh. Oh, uh, right. So this is the fountainhead waters that flowed down and sort of accidentally gave him immortality. Oops. Huh. Yeah, that there. just kind of happens. Uh, but yes, this uh, that's sort of the lore reason for 
uh, that whole super sad situation. Because <laughs> you have to have a sad situation. It's from software game. It just wouldn't be the same without yeah, it. Yeah, if, if people are happy, they don't feel like they're doing it right. Look at this guy, he's just hanging out. <laughs> he's just having some tea. Oh. <laughs> oh. What was his design even? Oh, he had an eel liver. Oh, it's uh, a speed archer. dude. That's why my it. computer's struggle busting with this. Nvidia's trying to do a it. thing. Are you oh, trying to do a midair gonna... thing? Yeah, I'm trying to do a midair death blow. I thought that I would be able to do it when they're hopping around. Right. Well, one time, we'll see that. One day. One day. Right. Oh, question. Yes? It just occurred to me just now in this moment. The, uh -huh. the village you went through where you killed people and then they kept getting back up and getting back up and getting back up? Yes. Did you go through and, like, perma-murder all of them now? Uh, no. That okay. one's a little weird. And I'm not okay. really sure why. Okay. But y you can't do, like, red sword executions on them. Hmm. It's, it's a little cl unclear what the whole Mibu village situation is. Oh, it's literally Mibu village. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, the one where the, the farmers are basically just keep coming back up. Right, they're all immortal. Them. They don't seem to, like, permanently always... I don't know, it's kind of... Yeah. This will work. Nah. These guys have an interesting design. They have the longest necks. They do have long necks. I think I can get these guys to death below uh, midair too when they hop around a certain way. Mm. I wonder Let's what they're based these. off of. And... Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's about to get me. You're about All to become well. old. You actually have completely unique animations when you are in peopled. It's oh, kind really? Of amazing. Yeah. For doing everything? can't do everything, because you only have, like, a few. I mean, I'll just keep doing this all day, keep bouncing on me, <laughs> Mario style. Like, I'm <laughs> playing Mario World and they use a spin jump. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a little bit different if a Goomba had a katana. <laughs> yes, or... Uh, the spiky tops, the spinies, there's just a bunch of katanas sticking out of them. <laughs> ah, this is what we call good design. Yes. Now I'm just thinking of, like, Sekiro taking down Mario and having to do a mortal blade finisher because clearly Mario's got a centipede. I think this guy's just doing some martial arts practice. Yeah. But, oh well. It's good to have fun, uh, sort of, uh, idle animations. Yeah. Some grave wax. See that guy over there on that tree stump? Coming for you. Oh, is that who ruined your day? Yeah, that's that's lightning-throwing fellow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just have to censor yourself? <laughs> I called him an F-word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, man. Got a uh, courtyard here. Mm. The particular God. particular angle of attack is, uh, as, as you might imagine, rooftops first. There's actually a new type of enemy down here. These Ooh. are actually lightning dogs. Ooh, little little Odin puppies. Uh huh. That makes them attack each other, right? It does. Yeah. Aw, uh, come on. You can do it. Fight, fight, fight. They Are they spitting lightning at each other? They are kind of spitting lightning. Okay. There was some moderate success. <laughs> they just ran in there to go wreck somebody. <laughs> uh-huh. There's, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, some reckoning. And there's a dude up there. What needs to get yeah, got? Yeah, he's facing the other way, so let's just kind of... Well, he saw you. That's all right. I thought I was going to be able to... Oh, no, he didn't. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that's that's sad. I thought that was going to be a... You're going to have a puppet. 
Oh no, I was thought I was on the uh, shuriken. No, I was not. I fell on the whistle. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Cool, cool, cool. And you're good. Done and done. <sighs> Alright, are the dogs? The dogs are still... That... Okay, yeah. Yeah? They did some fighting. Good job, doggy. <laughs> Have a treat. Oh, that's so brutal, man. That's... <laughs> it's just a pupper. I... <laughs> yeah, he spits lightning. There's water everywhere. It's very bad. <laughs> there. All right, fair. All right, there are there are still some uh, still some uh, sort of fluty flautists uh, going around here. Let's see. Okay. <whistles> some more dogs over there. They float around. Mm -hmm. Is he just gonna run in the? Okay. I thought he was gonna run in the building. Oh, hey, there's another dog. Well, there he goes. Yeah. Still there. just easier to shuriken. Yeah. Although the finger whistle's kind of fun. It is. And it also... Oh, hey. Did that flautist kill both those dogs? I think maybe they did. What? I guess that, maybe that enfeeblement spell works on... Uh, on enemies? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. From software's pretty thorough about some stuff like that. Yeah. Well, health pack. Huh. Oh, there were two flautists in there, it looked like. Or a flautist. Adamantine scrap. Okay. Got some uh, high-level materials. Nice. As is to be expected in From this kind of uh, late, late game area. Yeah. What might Eel be the end? for shock resistance. Again, we at least have some enemies that can... Uh, can do that now. Yeah. Yeah, it can do that. Uh, although enfeeblement is much more <laughs> severe. Yeah. It's like old from Final Fantasy V. Uh-huh. <laughs> The status element sure. that just makes you worse forever. <laughs> well, until the fight's over. Some Yashiriku. Nice. And we've got a statue. Idol. All right, round two. Mibu Manor. All right. Uh, there is a lot of dudes in here. <laughs> I assume. It wouldn't really make sense for the Mibu Manor to have like three people in it. Yeah, this could, this this area can be especially dangerous when running through if you get sort of a line of sight to a bunch of these guys. I do like that you can hear their flute. Yes, that's a that's a good way to uh, indicate where they are. This guy in the back there. Yeah. I think I can just do this. Yep. Woo. <laughs> Jeff. What is their range? Young man. Oh, hey. Yeah, this is a person. Hello. Hi, non stabbable human. Young man, please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They kind of seen that. Help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead in particular. It is accursed. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead, you'd best go around it. Well, we're going through then, right? Why are you telling me this? Oh. I have a favor to ask you, young man. What is it? It's about my father. My father is now a noble. And the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp, the Great Carp. For a long, long time since, he's done nothing but feed that cursed carp. Young man, please release my father from the carp's bewitching powers. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that. Wait, Pot Dude has a backstory? Okay, no, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you are right to connect that to the Pot Nobles. Uh, who we haven't seen in a while. We mm. haven't been back to visit. Uh, Pot but no we actually probably could and go purchase a bunch of stuff from mm. them. Right. That is an option. Uh, although that is connected, that is not the same 
character that she is referring to, her father. Ah, okay. Uh, we have we have not seen him yet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this this is like another side quest. I'm sure it will end super happy. Right. Shh. Don't tell him I'm here. Yep. Pipe down. Okay. You, you already have a permanent pipe down, so. Sneak. <laughs> you know, it's really sneaking when you yell it out loud. Uh huh. Got a whole thing going on there. The guy over. Oh, well, everybody's seen you. Oh boy, many people. They killed me. <laughs> Jeez. Your health goes to nothing. It goes to nothing. I think that I can. Yeah, run up on those fools. Right, before they. Back here and uh, get out of line of sight. Aqua Sugar. It's another thing we don't actually need because we have the infinite version of it. Alright, we'll, we'll explore the left half here. Yeah. Is that an enemy or yeah? Yeah. Sneak, 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 sneak. <laughs> I guess I'll get up. <laughs> okay, so you can interrupt them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shurikens continue to prove their usefulness. To be insanely, insanely useful. Oh, that's definitely a... got uh, kind of like a that's glowy a glowy thing here. <laughs> that sounds like a bowl, maybe. There's definitely some bull-like characteristics on the other side of that wall. Oh. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I, I will totally remember a thing for more than ten minutes. You got it. Hey, you remember the pot noble. That's true. Is the bull going to Kool-Aid man through this wall? Uh, no. Aww. Although, you know, I understand how that would be a consideration. Yeah, it'd be fun want to get on top of this area if at all possible. Well, always. This is so far, I feel like, the most Tenchu level in the game. Area in the game. There's definitely some Tenchu in. Yeah. Just like, just waiting in these kind of buildings and then guy gets close enough, you hit the button, it doesn't work the way you want it to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go get rid of the other nobles. There's another one. Let's see. Uh, the sword fighters, that's fine. I want to get rid of these guys. The sword fighters don't actually seem like they're too much of a threat. Yeah, they don't instant kill you. Give you a status effect. Yeah. No! <laughs> Get there! <laughs> Dang it! Uh, this will this will actually be a lot easier if we just run through to the opposite side of the courtyard and then fight from the back forward. forward. Okay. Yeah. Aha. How long does it take for people to go away? It's all right. Let's fight. Fight them! No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's technically possible. <laughs> you just have to get that timing right. Make a quick turn here to chop this guy. His guards will ignore. Yeah. And we'll trace the left side to do a quick jump around the corner. Oh! Extra guy got you. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, just like stop it. Just calm. Down, slow your roll. <laughs> yeah, just slow your roll. Like I get it. You're super proud of your dance fighting, <laughs> and the fact that you can do the kung fu movie yell like uh -huh. really well. Hmm, I didn't even block them. They just went through me. <laughs> Absorb some of that. So this makes it nice and visible. Sneak, 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 sneak,
Okay. Got just it. threw a bunch of shurikens at him. <laughs> and then it was you super sit effective. Down. Hey. Sculptor's idol found. We nice. got the flower viewing stage. Huh. Hey, look at that. They're facing the other, other way. way. Yeah, and, uh, that'll be convenient. Yeah, well, uh, before before we go uh, that particular direction, we can do a little bit of sneaking. It's yeah. Proper sneaking. Ooh. This uh, this side is even better for just getting like easy experience. This is basically the experience grind spot. It's okay. uh, here, and then everything is facing backwards from you. Pretty much good to go. So you can just kind of run through. Yeah, and you could, you respawn right there real quick. It's super easy. Um. Or just cheat engine, you know, whatever. I wasn't gonna say it. Uh, are you sure? I think you would have said it. I would have said it, yes. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, there was a, a three-panel soul web comic today, or that I saw today. That I just run up on this guy. Yeah. Where he, it was yeah. essentially just. Ooh, woo! Hello. All what right, are you? This guy's a little bit more serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, now I do. Oh, he's doing some crazy flipping stuff. <laughs> I thought he was doing the lightning attack again. Uh, no, there was a... Uh, the, the comic, the punchline was essentially time to play the new action game for this year. and Oh, they want me to be really good at it? Nobody got time for that. <laughs> Which is where I'm at in my life. I get it. There's some there's some delicious cheese that mm -hmm. you can employ in a lot of the situations here in Sekiro. Uh, I did eventually get good enough at the game for it not to be uh, horribly frustrating at every turn. Right. Um, but I get it. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what this video series is kind of about. Right. All right, we've been through this area. We haven't plundered. Right, there's still some plunder. Uh, there's actually also <gasps> a place to dive into the water here. Do that. Underwater dive. You could be a little less extra about that. Let's just cut, just, okay. <laughs> just, it's treasure carp scale, you know. It kind of fits. We've got another treasure carp scale. Mm. Treasure carp scale. One. This appears to be very uh, What's in fancy the box? chest here. Is it the treasure carp? No. It is water of the palace, a cup filled with divine waters, a drink popular with nobles of the palace. When a wedding procession arrives at the Fountainhead Palace, this is the drink they are greeted with, the nectar of the palace nobles. Go ahead, drink to your heart's content. Huh. Do we give that to the guy who's so thirsty? Uh, yes. See, you remember things from the game. Oh, I got it right? <laughs> yeah, there was the, there's that weird guy at the end of Mibu Village. Uh, the no, noble-ish in the house. Right. Uh, that was, yeah, super thirsty and wanted uh, Fountainhead Waters. So we can deliver that. I remembered two things. <laughs> That's... That's my... Hmm. I wonder if the spirit fall makes it so that sometimes sword strikes go through you. That'd be kind of cool. I guess I've never really tried. Well, I think... Hmm. Actually, hmm. It seemed to do that I, before I that you I did missed, the spirit fall. I don't know. It seems like I was missing some of those. I thought I'd be taking more damage. Hmm. Uh, Divine confetti. Nice. That's always good. Yeah, get more of that back. This should be just the one guy here. Well, there's the one guy, and then there's the, the one in the courtyard itself. Indeed. Some more grave wax. Got some of those. We can go up to the uh, attic area here. Nice. This, this is this is definitely, like you said, very tenchu-y. The <laughs> yeah. The sneaking around. Get up on the roof, place. hop down, yeah. kill a guy. Get back up on the roof, hop down, kill a guy. There's three dudes that kind of make a triangle, and there's actually a fourth one that's kind of over here inside the uh, pagoda or what have you. Okay, so a four-pointed triangle. Got it. Mm-hmm. So we can kind of use this as cover here. Kind of stab, go around, stir some trouble. 
Well, especially if you can do that. Yeah. Kind of go around the corner here. Yeah, so it is line of sight. Oh, another one of these guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Or gals, I guess. I really want to get that mid air death blow. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, just take it a second here. Alright. Really? I don't see why that wouldn't be it. Right. <laughs> it's just like, warning, 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 warning. Yes, yeah, warning. <laughs> ah, oh well. Dead. Dead is dead. <laughs> dead is dead. Uh, what was the result of this uh, experiment? On. Oh, no. I didn't get enough data. <laughs> yeah, we need a second data point. Yeah, let's, let's get some more data points. <laughs> Uh, let me get my, I'll, uh, don't need these things at the moment. Here's my, uh, stabby-doo. Your stabby-doo? My stabby-doo. <laughs> Your tontos? My ceremonial tontos, I guess. <laughs> Cause you don't stab, you slice. This is slicing. Nah, can't get that particular angle. Those guys are not very useful when they're on your side. Yeah, not so much. Oh, right, there are these two. Just in case I get hit from behind. Yeah. There's also one over there, but I think he's a little far too far away. It won't, yeah. won't particularly matter. Yeah. Oh, no, they're still trying to get each other. Oh, yeah, they're still fighting. Oh, he did his job. Oh, yeah. Ceramic shard. Okay, what I meant to do was equip the ceramic <laughs> shard. <laughs> uh, I... Although I do like the idea of Sekro getting confused, standing perfectly still, and then throwing just a ceramic shard. No? Okay. Throws it from his left hand. Let's kind of go this, and then... Just... No, just like... He's got a real good like... arm. Too far okay, away. Let's do a little bit, a little bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, know, that's great. You know, it's fine. Get over here. <laughs> he still Come throws on. from his left arm. I think right, you bugged. I'm gonna kill the noble. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the noble. Yeah, you bugged him out. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> he lost sight of me, David. I'm a great sneak master. That ceramic shard actually worked out. Yeah. Nice. Got an amantine scoop. Ooh, there's Got another treasure, treasure chest. chest. Is Indeed. this have a carp in it? It's divine grass. What does that one do? Eh. Oh, divine That's just a full heal. Yeah. Yeah. Pellets. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty looking area. Yeah. Not, there's not too much of significance as far as like the items in here, but uh, I mean we did get the, the special item underneath the going under the water. And right, we got the water there. for the dude. Where would you like to go? Let's do carp dude, then noble waters. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Are you getting all the animals to attack uh, each other? I'm just getting their dogs to fight them. <laughs> you know. Wow. What a jerk. Uh, we can get... Okay, we've got 12, and it's only 5 for the rest of his items. Would you like six. to just get everything from him? Yeah. Oh, 6, yes. 5 yeah. and 1. So six. Yeah, let's do that okay. then. Divine Grass. Sure. Floating Passage. Yeah, we can at least try it out. It's a little combat art. Oh, okay. Now what do you got? Guys, could you keep it down? I'm trying to listen. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay. You have the aroma of the divine realm. It's true. And you've been so kind to me. Very well. I give this to you now. Truly precious bait. This is truly precious bait. <laughs> If bait has hair, you know it's something truly special. Oh, that's... The Harada Noble oh. in the pot is obsessed with thoughts of becoming a master. He who receives the scales of the carp becomes closer to a carp himself. I bestow upon, unto you my secret treasure. Bring it to the great carp of the divine realm. Then I will finally become a carp and bestow upon you my secret treasure. You still have my bed. Bring it to the great. Do that. And wait. I'm used to waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how many different baits? I remembered we had other ones. Yes, so we've, we've, we picked up two precious bait. Uh, which, where we picked them up, makes sense because it was in the river near Mibu when we dived down. Uh, and then also... Uh, in the bottom of the waterfall, which is where the guardian ape was. Oh, okay. So it's like, okay, clearly this is connected to the Fountainhead Palace, to the Great Carp, uh, as we've heard mention of from two NPCs now. So now we can go back to Mibu Village, the little house right outside of the sort of like rope man palanquin wedding ceremony Thing. spooky ghost cave. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this guy's making those noises. Yeah. Please accept us as your humble servants. It's the Fulgrim. Yeah. Give the water? Yeah. Keep the water. Give the water. Give the water. Hello. Take this. Oh, this fragrance. Oh. Finally, we may be accepted. <laughs> You let me give you this. Dragon Spring Sake. Crystal clear sake. Top shelf sake brewed by the Ashina brewmaster with water from the Dragon Spring. Pure water extracts every last bit of flavor from Ashina's finest rice. There are no words that can do the flavor justice to understand. One must taste it for themselves. I think we've gotten one of these from Mibu Village before the dragon spring okay case, yeah i think we have surrendering to me glug 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 mouth noises <laughs> continues is that all you got yes all right we will uh do one last refresh here yeah as this is how the, normally how from software games advance their plots right you give the guy an item he starts he doing something weird something weird happens you refresh and then he's a corpse or he's an evil monster or he's been murdered by his daughter or or his daughter murdered him or you know right he's he's been replaced by his daughter but wears the exact same armor so they didn't have to make a new model let's check on our uh, noble boy and yep, he's one of these guys now. Yep. So we have to actually kill him. Wait, what? Well, got a treasure carp scale. You know. <laughs> Are we gonna get to the end of this and the real big baddie is a fish? Also, uh, I'm not gonna say yes or no. Uh, because we will find out next time. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not literally next time. It depends on where we get, but yeah, uh, it's not really a good vista here. It's not as not as uh, pretty as the Fountainhead Palace, but you know, we will uh, we'll be back there. It's a vista. If you have enjoyed this and the other things we make, please uh, feel free to go and support us on Patreon. We've got the one dollar tier, five dollar tier. Five dollars gives you access to very very lightly edited versions of all of our videos. Uh, if not, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We love making this stuff, and all those things make it easy. Sakurou!